Hey, what's up, you guys? My name is Dejus, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to play Roblox Jailbreak. So, there are two different ways of playing Jailbreak. You can play as the prisoner, and you can play as the police officer. So, this video will be split up into two separate parts, and um, I will timestamp at the bottom in the description um, all of the different parts of the walkthrough of the guide. That way you can jump around and skip to whichever part is most helpful to you. And, uh, yeah, let's just get into the video. Now that we've chosen prisoner, we are actually in the prison. <laughs> you can spawn at any random place in the prison. Uh, you usually spawn in the jail cell though like if you get arrested you'll be back in jail and then you'll get out of here and then there's these very helpful arrows on the ground that point you in the direction of the staircase so you don't get lost and then you run out here uh, this is the most wanted board so as you continue to steal things um, you will collect a higher bounty but I'll talk about that later in the video I'm gonna go over the controls really quickly and uh, the first thing is C which is crouch and you're actually gonna need this it's going to be very helpful later in the game um, as you rob from like the bank and the jewelry store because they have lasers that you have to crawl underneath uh, the second is punching with F and uh, we actually are gonna need the punch in a little bit too for getting out of the jail and um, and then shift is to run. There's a lot of different ways of escaping the jail, but if you don't have a key card, this is one of the fastest ways to escape the jail. You just hold down E and, um, you know, it takes a little bit of time and you don't always get it on the first try, but it is worth the wait. And now we are out of the prison. All right, so now I'm going to show you guys a second way of escaping the prison without a key card, and that is to punch the thing that says, it's, there's a little sign that says, please don't punch me. So of course you're going to want to punch it, and after you punch it a certain amount of times, um, I don't know if it's a set limit, but after you punch a certain amount of times, this gate opens for you. And this is this is actually kind of harder than the first method, just because uh, police can arrest you right here, but then you lift the gate, and then you run, and then um, you can either, you can do two things at this point. You can either go under this hole by crouching and go under the hole, or um, if you want the fastest, fastest, fastest possible way, you can hop in this car for two seconds, reverse it, put it up against the gate, and then jump on top of it, and then boom, you're out. You're also out that way. And the third and final way requires needing someone with a key card, so I know what you guys are thinking. Uh, do you just, if I already have a key card, why am I actually still trying to break out? I can just run out the front door. Well, if you are, like, you know, being consistently pursued by the police, or if they are camping the front and just arresting everyone that immediately escapes, uh, you just need someone with a key card. You don't need the key card yourself if you think that there's a police that's following you this way and uh, will try and arrest you, but you just need a key card to access this room. And um, as you can see, there is this vent up here. It's actually pretty difficult to get in here. Um, it, it takes me a couple of tries every single time, but you crouch, and I, I do a mix of crouching and jumping. Takes a couple of tries, but once you're finally inside of the vent, as you can see my little character's crawling through the vent, um, it's a really good way of escaping because not a lot of people know about this way and not a lot of people will be camping you on the other side of it. So as you can see, it lets you off right on this roof right there. You can see the vent, you can see inside the cafeteria. And uh, from here you jump, boom. And then I kind of like to run around the side just a little bit and then I like to jump off. Uh, that way people don't see me. Um, but you can go this way or you can go the other way. The other way might actually be better just because this way now they added the explode wall. Uh, but yeah, those are the three ways to escape without a key card. And, and that way technically you do need a key card, but you don't need the key card yourself. You can just have a police officer open the door for you and then you can just crawl in the vent. And uh, yeah, since it's pretty hard to get into, people probably won't follow you. So now that we've escaped the prison, we're going to want to go to a criminal base and uh, get out of these prison clothes and pick up some more weapons. So I am hopping in the car right here that is right outside of the prison. And uh, we are driving. <laughs> At the shooting range, you can pick up the AK-47, which is a pretty good weapon. Um, I think it's the best one at shooting down helicopters. Cause you just now we're going to go to the next shop on the way to the criminal base, and that is the donut store. So there are a lot of myths about the donut. Um, this is actually one of the places you can rob. Um, you can literally right, just hold E <laughs> to rob it. Um, takes a little bit of time, but... Once you've robbed it, you will get probably a little bit of uh, less cash than I did. I think I only got that much because I'm VIP. But yeah, so you get a donut, and uh, I've heard some myths about the donut that eating it increases your health regeneration, so you heal faster while eating the donut. I'm not sure how true that is, but it is a myth that I have heard, and it's a myth that people talk about. So uh, now we're going to keep on driving to the criminal base. We're going to drive past this town. Keep on going, keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. And this criminal base, right over here, has... 
Uh, so this is basically the criminal lair. I would call this a lair more than a base, because uh, it has a lot. It has a vending machine, it has sofas, it has two cars. Um, and then this is what they call the exit, because it has a Lamborghini right there. The place where you can change out of your clothes, you can pick up the new weapons, you can pick up the shotgun, you can pick up the pistol, um, and uh, change out of your clothes. Now I'm in street clothes. And so now I, you know, now I look like more of a civilian. Um, and so yeah, so we're gonna hop in the new car. All right, and so now we've arrived in the city and we are first at the bank. Uh, you can kind of see it up there, it says bank. But what you're gonna wanna do, you're gonna need a key card to rob the bank. You don't need a key card for the jewelry store, which I'll do immediately after, but all right, so you're going to the bank. You use your key card, you open this, you run in, it says you bank, you started a robbery. So you're going to want to stay down here while it says you started a robbery because um, one, if you're the only person in here or, you know, once the per once everyone has left that is in the robbery, uh, then, you know, a timer starts to go down and the people that, people have to only a certain amount of time to escape. So for here, you just run up to the door and you, it literally explodes the safe wall, the vault wall, you run into the vault and you start to collect the Robux. I guess that's what they call it because it's, it's, it's technically just jailbreak money, but it's Robux. And as you can see, I cross those lasers just by crouching and jumping and uh, crouching and jumping. And yeah, that's why crouch is so important in this game uh, because y you're going to need it to get through lasers. This is pretty easy of a laser thing. The, the bank isn't that hard. The hard one is the jewelry store. So we're filling up our full thing with money. And uh, for most people, I believe the limit is 2,000. For me, it's 3,000 because I think I have the upgraded duffel bag. So if your duffel bag is full of money, you are going to want to exit the vault. And so it says D just collected 3,000 in the corner, as you can see. Oh, and then I'm, I'm running. Oh, I got hit by the laser. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. All right, and so now I'm running out, I'm running out, I'm running out, I'm running out. And um, actually, this is the part that people get confused about. You are actually safe. You have to. You can exit that door or this door. It doesn't really matter. That door is good if the police are coming through this door. Uh, and then you aren't actually safe until you touch the street. You have to touch the street before it, it for the bank for it to collect the money. We'll now go to the jewelry store and I'll show you how to rob at the jewelry store. So the jewelry store, you can just rob by going up to any of the window. There's a window on this side and a window on that side, and it has to be open, and once you get close to the window, as you can see, that laser starts, and then it breaks it, and then there's lasers on the floor here, and you literally just punch, and, but once you once you start the jewelry store robbery, it shuts down the whole jewelry store, um, so p new people cannot get in, and the police cannot follow you in, and uh, yeah, they'll have to just wait for you at the roof, which I will talk about in a minute when I'm, when I'm talking about the police officer. So, all right, so once you have a full duffel bag, you're gonna wanna jump over that laser, run up this ramp, and this is, for me, the most difficult room in Jailbreak because these, these cameras, they have lasers and uh, they are pointing on the ground. You can kind of see the light move on the ground um, and people are like, you can look at the camera to know when to move. So like, you see the cameras right there, we're going to move. See the cameras right there. We're going to wait a little bit. I, I kind of like to use the lights also to tell where it's, where it's going, where it's going, where it's going. Um, all right, so we're going to move. We're going to try. Oh, we're probably going to get hit by that one. Oh, no, we didn't get hit. Okay, perfect. We didn't get hit. Uh, we're going to wait for that one to go and then we're going to go. And then, all right, as you can see, we're in this corner. There's that one. Uh, this is going to be difficult. This is going to be very difficult for me. Uh, then I kind of just run through at this point. I have enough health where I can just run through. And all right, we made it. So we, we still have a good amount of health, and we made it. And for this one, you're going to want to press this button. It shows you where the floor lasers are. I kind of run, jump, jump. And then for this, I wait until lasers on that side, then I run. Then I wait until lasers on that side, then I run. And then you run up the ramp. As you can see, all right, this is where... You can see outside and you can see who's waiting for you. You can see what police officers, what helicopters, and um, they cannot see which door you are going to take. They can only see a small sliver of where your feet are, but they can't see. There's no windows here, so they can't see which door you're going to take. Um, most people usually take this one in the corner. So if you're playing on a really crowded server, I would recommend taking the middle one. And uh, yeah, now you're on the roof and you just jump off. A parachute usually activates, but for some reason a parachute didn't activate for me that time. Uh, and you just hop in a car. Um, I have the Bugatti, so I'm just gonna hop in that. And then you go to the criminal base. Oops. This thing is hard to control because it's really fast. Uh, let's see, let's see. And then all you do is go by the side of the criminal base, and then boom. Robbery success, 6,000 cash. Uh, this is the second criminal base. It, there's really not too much to it, so I, I didn't want to show it that much, but here it goes. Um, boom, boom. It's right by the city. The most important part of this criminal base is its location because that's where you can turn in the money from the jewelry store. Uh, if it's being camped, then you can go to the other criminal base, but I highly recommend just going to this one because it's really, really close and uh, it's right next to the jewelry 
from the store. So, oh, um, next I want to talk about the cars in Jailbreak, because I, as you can see, I'm driving the Bugatti Veyron, and um, there's a lot of different cars in Jailbreak. The Bugatti, which I'm driving right now, there's a Tesla, as you can see, there's little Tesla chargers for that. Uh, the Tesla is very helpful because it has um, three extra seats, so it's a four-seater car. It's, I believe, one of the only four-seater cars in Roblox besides the Dune Buggy um, and the SWAT van. So, uh, yeah, for the Tesla, there's, you know, three, three other players can fit in the Tesla with you as, lo as well as you're driving, so it's a four-seater. The, the Bugatti is just a two-seater, uh, but it is the fastest car. The Bugatti is the fastest car in, in the game. The Tesla with the level five engine, which um, I'll touch on right now, uh, there you have different engine speeds that you can buy. Level one is the slowest engine, two, three, four, five. As you can tell, well, you know, it gets gets faster based on the higher the level of the engine that you buy. Um, I have a level five engine. I, I only think you really only need a level five engine or level one engine. And um, yeah, the Bugatti goes very, very fast with level five engine. And so, uh, as I touched on earlier, there is the Lamborghini, which is the second fastest vehicle in the game. The Lamborghini and the Tesla level 5 engine um, are pretty similar, pretty similar. So, I, I would recommend getting the Tesla level 5 engine, uh, and then the Bugatti, uh, not the Bugatti, yeah, yeah, I, that's what I did. I don't have the Lamborghini yet, I'm going to get it soon, but I, I really just wanted the Bugatti and the Tesla level 5. Um, so, what I want to talk about next is apartments, because they did add apartments into the game. Um, and basically, apartments are just places where you can hang out in between, you know, the bank being open and the jewelry store being open with your friends. Uh, some of them are very expensive. So, like, for instance, this one costs, let's see. This one costs ten thousand dollars a day. That's pretty expensive. Um, the most expensive one, though, I believe, is like twenty-five thousand dollars a day. Um, I'll buy the cheap one just to show you guys what the apartments actually look like. Uh, this is, I believe, the cheap one. Uh, Six thousand a day? No, no, no. There's one that's even cheaper than that. There's one that's even cheaper than that. Let's see. I think this is the cheap one. Fifteen thousand a day? No. Okay, that's the expensive one. The cheap one is behind the jewelry store. That's what it is. Which is interesting, because it's right by the jewelry store. You, th you think it costs more money. Alright, let's see. Let's see. 2500 a day. Let's rent it. Let's rent it. Alright, so rent. Um, and so this is basically what having an apartment is like. You can just set up, you know, if you want torches or a dance floor or, you know, go to edit mode. Um, you can edit the settings. You only, your team, your friends, everyone. So right now it's on everyone mode. If I want you only, just turn to you only, your team, your friends, everyone. Uh, and yeah, that's basically it. You can edit the desks. You can edit the dance floor. I can make the. I can even edit the. I can edit the civet cabinets, modern couch, double twin, uh, small dance floor. I can edit the color of the dance floor. Everything like that. Um, and then with this, you know, same same idea. Uh, probably just you know put a modern couch here. That way it's yeah. That, oh yeah, it's a little, it's a little, yeah, yeah. All right, we're actually kind of making this look interesting. All right, we'll do that. We'll do that. The sunset. Um, and then TV, or you can have it be blank paintings, original TV, wide paintings, uh, TV wall, ultra wide TV. Um, and then, yeah, that's basically it for the apartment. Uh, there's really not much to apartments. Um, people just get them because it's something to do in between, you know, hang out with friends, in between the bank robberies and the jewelry heist. And uh, you can close it off to the police officer, so you can't get arrested while you're in an apartment. So I'm going to cancel them for that. Yes, cancel. Um, and then, boom, uh, you, you know, you're done. There goes the apartment. Final place to rob is the gas station. So once you get to the gas station, you just literally, same like the donut store, you go up to the counter and you just press hold E and you, you rob it. You take the money from it grab their money from the gas station that's basically it you've completed everything you need to as a criminal and uh you just keep rinsing and repeating until you have you know enough money to afford your own bugatti or uh, your own expensive apartment or your own lamborghini whatever you want to get in jailbreak can be yours as long as you work hard for it uh so now i will be showing you guys how to be a police officer and that is going to be something that's a little bit different so i will be uh switching over to the police officer side and giving you guys that perspective So as a police officer, you have a couple of different tools at your disposal. You have the regular pistol, and this is basically just to defend yourself if a criminal is, you know, really, like, far away and you can't arrest them. Uh, you kind of have to just shoot them. Uh, second, you have the handcuffs. These are the most important uh, thing that you have. This is the most important tool that you have as a police officer. As you can see, I'm by a car, and when you have the handcuffs and you're by a car, you can eject the passenger from the car, and then you can actually arrest people with the handcuffs as well. So as you can see over here, we're going we're gonna to go over here. There's someone over here. Oh, he might die. He might die. But as you can see, the arrest is up. I arrested him. Look. Arrested. $120, $120 cash. All right. So we arrested the person. And then you have the taser gun. This is also very important because you can tase people. And basically, the taser knocks them to the ground so that you can run over and arrest them instead of um, killing them. And actually, it is better to arrest them than to kill them because if you arrest them, they end up back in the jail. And they have to re-break out of the jail as opposed to if you um, just... All right. Like, see? All right. Guy's getting tased. And then arrested. Tased and then arrested. Um, Alright, so. 
the taser is very important because yeah you want to send them back to the jail uh and so it's harder for them whereas if you send them to the uh if you kill them then they just end up back in the prison and yeah they just end up back in the criminal base all right let's see so as a police officer your job is to basically just arrest all the criminals and make you make money that way you make money by arresting criminals um and that's basically it you get a, a check for being a police officer every now and then but uh yeah that's basically it you just find stray prisoners like this who are just running away and you arrest them as simple as that. As simple as that. Um, as you can see, there's some people that are ready to punch the thing. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just arrest them right now. Because the second they punch this, you can arrest them. So we arrested that person. And uh, basically, once they do something illegal, you can arrest them. Just stole your keycard. She just stole my keycard, so I can arrest her. I'll give you 1k for a keycard. Uh, you can be bribed? Sure. Alright, so let's, let's, bri let's let him bribe me. I collected the money. I've been bribed by him for 45 seconds, so he he bribed me, and now he's gonna take my key card, and uh, yeah, so I can't arrest him uh, because again he just bribed me. So I'm gonna go show you guys the bounty wall, the most wanted wall. This is how you make uh, the most amount of money as a police officer. There's someone that has a $3,000 bounty, JDR1990. They have a $1,500 bounty, $500 bounty, $500 bounty. We're going to go arrest some people actually out in the game because that is the best way to get uh, more money. So let's, let's... So I, when I'm a police officer, I like to just go straight to the top of this building because there is a helicopter. There is a helicopter. Um, I just arrested that guy. Alright, now I'm going to hop in the helicopter. We are off to try and stop some bank robberies. So this is what... The <laughs> This is what being a police officer is all about. You actually can make a good amount of money as a police officer if you are on one of these regular servers that people have a high bounty. And um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it for the most part. There's that police base. And then there's another police station over here if you want to get a second helicopter. Um, it's right over here on the same road, I believe, as the jewelry store? No, no, no. It's in between the jewelry store. Anything. Someone started a robbery. Started a robbery at the gas station person started robbery at the gas station but people are robbing robbing the jewelry store so i'm about to arrest someone as you can see oh wait oops no my helicopter is going too fast as you can see i'm waiting to arrest someone i got them both tase arrest Uh, they're gonna shoot me. He's, his, he has to kill me. Basically, he has to kill me. No, and he killed me! He killed me, he killed me, he killed me. But that's, basically, as you guys can see, someone collected the $3,500 bounty. Someone collected the $3,500 bounty. Um, I collected, I didn't collect that many on the bounty side, but I did collect quite a bit of money from arresting people. <laughs> I hope this video helped you guys out. If you play as a police officer, you will probably frustrate a lot of people. Um... Yeah, you will probably frustrate a lot of people. Uh, I just, I made someone mad enough that they, it was just hashtag, hashtag, hashtag. And uh, yeah, let me know what your guys' thoughts are of this video. I hope it helped some of you out. It is kind of a longer video, but you know, it's like a full in-length, in-depth details guide. And uh, yeah, if you want more of these kind of guys, just let me know. Leave a like, leave a subscribe, and comment below if you want more of these and what game you want them on. And I will do my best to make those type of videos. So if you don't know already, my name is Deejus. I play a lot of games, and you should subscribe to my channel because I make a lot of videos. And... On top of that, I do a lot of live streams, so check my channel out. I will hope to see you guys later in some of the live streams, and I will see you guys out. Peace out. We're invited, the night is